guys and welcome back to Candy Me Up and today I am re-reviewing this lovely foundation here which I lost at the top and I don't know I cannot find it nowhere I'm telling you guys but I'm re-reviewing this just because I'm, I'm re-reviewing it just because I did a very 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 rough review on this product this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation, liquid foundation, and I did a really bad review on it just because I wasn't experienced with it and I didn't really give it much time. I just was rushing to the review and I was just like, ugh. And I really said some really bad things about it, which actually after a while and once I learned how to apply this foundation, I was actually able to overcome all the bad things that I said about this previous foundation. And I did actually delete that video that I had just because I felt like I was giving too much of a for this product and I didn't want to bad review it just because it wasn't actually that bad after I learned how to use it so I'm just gonna tell you guys my experience with this foundation and how it actually works on me and how I apply it so yeah okay so guys I actually applied this foundation with my beauty blender and I apply it with my beauty blender just because I feel like it gives a natural beautiful finish to my skin it feels absolutely amazing and you guys don't even know how amazing it feels it feels like it's my skin but way better like hands down it's like way so I love using it with the beauty blender just because the beauty blender gives a very natural finish it like I like what's this buff in I like buff it into my skin no buff is like this sponge I sponge it onto my face and it gives an absolutely amazing finish and it's the perfect for this foundation just because it distributes the product evenly it does not suck up as much as the product as I think it is because it actually gives a pretty good finish for my skin I don't have that much blemishes or stuff like that so I don't have to deal with a lot but sometimes I do get my little red bumps somewhere like girl you don't even know but I do get my bumps somewhere sometimes but it absolutely Flawless. Okay, I did such a bad review on this foundation because when I first did it, I went into too fast, like I said before. Um, and I used my fingers to um, rub in the foundation into my skin, and that did not give an absolutely good result to me. It actually made me feel like too luminous with the foundation. I felt like I was putting too much product on and it was just not natural and it was not flowing and I felt like I looked like an oil face at the end of the day and I don't really have oily face I was using my fingers for this foundation and the foundation was actually turning out super super dewy super super oily and I think it was because the heat of my fingers actually made it more oily and the oil of my hands got onto my face which for me not the best combination just because I don't really have oily skin and I was like what is going on like and it was winter so I was like is my face too moisturized? Am I putting on too much moisturizer? What's going on? Like, why is it so oily? And it was literally winter. Like, this year winter was horrible. And it was snowing and they didn't close school. There was like 10 feet of snow. Anyways, so yeah. So that was my goal, me putting on the foundation. So let's go and tune into that. Here I'm just taking the foundation and I'm pumping it directly onto the back of my hand just because that's how I put it so I can apply it on my face. Now I'm just going to apply the foundation in certain areas of my face just to distribute the product onto my face. Taking the beauty blender, I'm going to sponge this onto my face and this blends in beautifully. That's what I'm trying to show you guys, you know, the beauty. And if you were wondering what's on my head, it's just like um, one of those things you put on your hair. And I did that weird little doot doot thing. But it's just one of those things you put on your hair to put your hair back. Or a hair cap or whatever it's called. Now wearing a bun, it looks probably weird. And then there's me saying, hey, okay, everybody. Now that you guys seen how the foundation looks, um, how it, I put it on with the beauty blender and all that stuff and all that good jam. Yes. Oh. Anyway, so now that you guys seen that, I'm just going to tell you my favorite parts of this foundation. The factor that 
no matter what is going to be luminous like you cannot take it away so if you do not like foundation that have lumin luminosity in them this is not the foundation for you but I actually like this just because it gives me a little pop like once in a while I, I don't wear it that much anymore but it gives me a pop and that pop sometimes looks amazing with depending on the makeup I'm wearing. Extremely amazed on the packaging. It does not break. Even the top, the plastic top, it does not break. And the pump, it's amazing. The pump is not too hard where you're not able to not control the amount that you're pumping out. That's and one of the best things just because it's a very friendly, friendly user. Um, I did take this on vacation, this foundation, and it's actually kind of travel friendly. But remember again, it is glass. Glass is going to be a little bit more heavy just in case if you're not one of those um, um, holders that like holding heavy stuff, you know, on flights. But it did, it did travel with me, so I give it a travel plus. And I also give it that it is very natural. Um, you can build it up, but it is extremely natural, and it will it will show your skin on the bottom layer. Like I only use one, um, two pumps I use, and I pretty much um, feel like I'm not wearing anything. So the three things I give this foundation is it's travel friendly, it is luminous, and it makes you feel natural. So yeah, thanks for watching my video, and you guys. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see this makeup look, remember to comment on that or like the video just to inform me that you guys want to see this makeup look. So, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.